Wow. No, not good. Not good. Not good. No, no, no. Get back up. Get back up. Back up. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, we're good. Whoo. <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go after our uh, buried treasure, our um, uh, Stephanie's or Jennifer's. Yeah, Jennifer's buried treasure. It's a long ways away, but along the way, we're going to be able to stop at the other two traders and check out their inventories. And if we get a big boatload of cash from that, we might be able to actually buy uh, the mini bike that trader Joel has for sale for around 16K. Uh, and we already have like 5,000 or something like that. Okay, so that's the plan for today's episode. Uh, what we're going to do is let's grab um, let's grab these red teas and this stack of cornbread so we can take that with us um, and make sure we have, you know, stuff to eat while we're out and about because we're going to be out and about for a little while. I think I'm going to just top us off with uh, a miso right now too. So we got that going. And let's see, we've got a shovel. we got a repair kit in case we need it for the shovel, which we probably won't, but you never know. And we've got ammo stacks. We've got the uh, one thing of bandages. And I might take the wrench with... Oh, I know what I was doing. I was making some lock picks too. So we got those, but I also have a jailbreakers. Uh, but uh, I made more lock picks too, so we have those for, for future. Uh, so we're loaded up on ammo. I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Um, the trader's quite a ways away, like I said, so I think what we'll do here is, um, maybe just, I don't know if I'll put some time lapse on and hunt along the way, uh, or even just meet you guys over there. But basically what we're doing is we're heading up this road here. We're going to stop off at Trader Jin, go up and stop off at Trader Joel, and then the treasure's, um, to the west that way. So that is the plan. So... Yeah, I'll probably just meet you guys um, at the dig site location. I do want to show you that um, I spent the rest of yesterday during the, the rest of the day before nighttime um, improving our ramp here. And uh, I made a little pathway for me to get into the base there too. I'll probably do the same thing on this side as well. Um, just so, you know, we, I mean, even with the way that it is now, um, they're not going to break that entire ramp. It's just so unlikely. You know, that that way we're pretty much almost guaranteed to have a smooth path back up to us here. Okay. Uh, so anyway, yeah, let's um, let's get going here. I can't uh, check his vetting machine right now, of course. Uh, so I'll, I'll check it when we get back if we have time. But we have the other two traders we're going to as well. So we can be checking their vending machines. I'm also going to take off my armor uh, just so I have a little more stamina while we're going down the road. All right, guys, I'll see you at the dig site unless something crazy happens before then. Look at this, guys. We found the snow biome. That is awesome. Awesome possum. All right, so we're only about 500 and some odd uh, meters away from the dig site. I hope it's not actually in the snow because I don't really have snow. I'm not equipped for the snow right now. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it might be just kind of along the borders here. Uh, but I'm glad we found the snow biome for sure. So we're going to have to have another uh, episode exploration episode where we come back here and we really start looking around uh, i've managed to get a whole mess of hunting done um on this trip over here that's why it's 
taken me such a long time, but we've got over 100 meat already, which is great. And uh, I've been picking up bird's nests too, so we're collecting, you know, the usual feathers, eggs, that sort of thing uh, from them. There's a Larry the Lumberjack over there. Uh, we do need to be careful of bears and mountain lions. We don't have the firepower to be taking those guys on yet. Um, but so far, you know, being just this little ways into the snow biome, looks like we're not, like, freezing. There's a nitrate node. I really would like to find a coal node because I have not found one yet. I have not found one yet. I imagine uh, we would would be able to find that in the burned biome uh, if, you know, if and when we come across it. But uh, coal used to be in the forest biome too in vanilla seven days to die. So I'm assuming it probably still is, but I guess I don't know that for sure. So yeah, we'll have to have to see. One thing that's great about the snow biome is it's so easy to find, you know, the bird's nests. It's the best biome to hunt in, too. You know, because here again, it's just, it's got the big game, but it's also just so easy to see everything. Like that rabbit over there. There's no way in hell I would have ever seen that rabbit, um, you know, in the forest biome. Unless I was super lucky and just happened to be looking over that way. Uh, so let's see if we can get him. Whoops. Oh, he's going to see us and then run. We got it. Okay. Um, we do have this Larry over here, too. So just in case he comes after us, I want to have my armor on. Because he's a, he's a rat bastard, man. He's a tough son of a bitch. Okay, let's see if we can get... Uh, give me the crossbow. There we go. Or crossbow bolt, rather. And now we're starting to get cold. So let's get back out of here. Okay, so unless the snow biome curves around that way, it looks like we won't be uh, hitting it for the treasure, which is, you know, preferable, of course. We have found the buried treasure dig location. So let's park the bike here. And again, this is not a trader buried treasure chest, so we shouldn't get the zombie waves coming in after us from doing this one. Um, yeah. All right. So I don't know if the whole southwest corner trick still applies, but we'll start in the southwest corner and just see, you know, if that makes any difference or not. Might as well get this stump, see if we can get a, a honey. Nope. And we'll grab the bird's nest too. Okay, we got a little bit of canned food from the last trader, so let's eat that now because we're going to need to. We'll save the cornbread and the red tea for later. Actually, I will take a red tea, too, for efficient digestion. Okay, let's get our armor back on. We're not going to take that. We're not going to take that. Uh, we'll put the potato seed up there, I guess. And uh, look at that. We got to have 125 meat just, just on the journey out here. It's awesome. How many eggs do I have? 
11 eggs. All right, so that's five bacon and eggs. I hear somebody walking around over there. Yeah, it's Ronnie McDonough. Okay, let's take care of him too so he doesn't bother us when we're digging. Okay. All right, let's try the southwest corner first, and we'll see what happens. Let's get to digging here. All right, we found it. Uh, it didn't take too terribly long. It definitely was not in the southwest corner. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the jailbreakers and the eye candy. And let's open this thing up and see what kind of fat loots we can get. Here we go. All right. That's pretty good. Overall, pretty darn good. I can't complain about that. Plus, almost 6,000 coin uh, to boot. Um, you'll notice, too, that, that the treasure is like actually down in the stone. They're quite a bit deeper, or at least can be quite a bit deeper than they used to be. Uh, so the way I've, I'm doing this, planning on doing treasures in Alpha 20, is digging down till my feet are on stone, and then you know start starting to dig around from there. Um, if it's and if you dig out the third layer of dirt, which I did, any, if there's anything above, you'll see it. And if there's anything, uh, well, actually, yeah, this this one popped into view when I was digging here, so that way you have good coverage both up and down. All right, good. So I'm pretty happy, guys, with the loot that we got out of that. Just have to get right in the middle here to nerd pull out of here. There we go. And let's just patch this hole just in case we ever come by here in the future at some point and accidentally fall into it. Now, I stopped off at um, both Trader Gin and, the, and Northern Trader Joel, and neither one of them had anything that I really want. Um, so let's take a look at... Where we're at. So we have 10,000, over 10,000 coin. If we can raise another 6,000, uh, we have the option, if we want to, to buy the mini bike straight up from Trader Joel back in our town. I haven't decided yet if, if I'm going to do that. It's not really a good idea to do that economically because we're working towards being able to just flat out make it. The only advantage to doing it is that, you know, we would just get it a little bit sooner. Um, and you know, I'm not really worried about the money to be honest with you, because by the time we're done with the end of this playthrough, I'm going to have money, you know, Duke's coming out my ears here. So that's just not really that big of a deal, but you know, money is more precious to us in the early game than later though, too. So I just have to kind of think about that and decide if that's what I really want to do. Okay. Let's take a look and see. Uh, we don't have any points available, but we're really, really close uh, to the next point. And we're going to just keep pumping, um, intellect. Now, one thing I could do is I think the Northern Trader Joel actually had some nerdy glasses. They're very expensive, 2,700 coins for that. But, you know, if we get that, then we only need to take one more point in intellect. We'll have an effective four, which will then allow us to, to get to Grease Monkey level two. Plus the fact that we then have the nerdy glasses for Horde Knight for the extra XP boost. So that would not be a bad expenditure of, of coin at all. Um, so... Yeah, I might just actually end up doing that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you what we'll do, though, for now. Um, not exactly sure how much time we have left in this episode. Why don't we just explore just a little ways into the snowbound, but we're going to stay on the highway. <coughs> Excuse me, the highway. I, I don't want to get too far into it because, again, I'm not equipped for it. Um, you know, so we're going to get cold, but as long as we don't get super, super cold, um, it might be just kind of fun to go down the road a little ways and just kind of see what's going on uh, with the with the snowbound here. Uh, so let's put a couple things back in here. And we're going to have to, uh, I'll tell you what, we might do some more hunting too. So let's take all the stuff back that we would get if we were hunting. Why don't we eat this now? It'll just free us up another slot. And then stuff we're very unlikely to to get like this, 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 and this. And this, which I'll probably just end up selling anyways, we'll put in there. Okay, good. Um, now, we're still going to be encumbered, though, because I'm going to be taking the armor off. But we get that uh, stamina boost from doing that. If we keep the armor on, then it just makes us go really, or, or lose our stamina really quickly. 
Uh, so yeah, let's just go down the road a little ways. We're not going to, like I said, go really far into the snowbound. Uh, but let's just kind of check it out and see if we can actually f come across a town here in the snow biome. And we will continue hunting along the way. So, you know, we're going to bring back a gob of meat and hide and bone and stuff, uh, which is never a bad thing. I don't know what happened to that bunny. Uh, is that him right there? Hmm, I don't know. It looked like it. Huh, not sure. Okay, well, yeah, let's just uh, take a trip here. Down the road just a little ways. See what's what. Um, and the more I think about it, the more I think I probably will, in fact, go buy those nerdies. They're a little expensive, and we're probably going to find a pair right after I buy them, because, you know, Murphy's Law and all that, but... It just means one less point we have to put into intellect to get going on our mini bike. Okay, we got a janked out house right there. Kind of weird. Nice. All right, Larry's probably going to aggro us. And we try and go harvest that rabbit. So let's get our armor on here and just get a preemptive off on him. Oh, he ducked his head right when I pulled the trigger. Larry's tough and he's fast. He's a pretty dangerous zombie. All right, cool. So we got the next skill point. Ooh, there's a bear. Uh, we know for sure that we want to put this one into Intellect 3, so let's just do that now. And then if I get those nerdies, we're at 4. Hmm, we got ourselves a bear, guys. That's risky as all get out, but we're going to try it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. We attracted some Larrys too, which isn't ideal. Okay, it looks like there's a town to the north of us. Alright, let's deal with these Larrys so they're not harassing us while we're trying to get our bear here. Whoops. Keep forgetting this is multiple shot weapon here. The thing about Larrys is all over the place too. Okay, let's see if we can get a crossbow off on this guy. That marker's in the way here. Yeah, let's get rid of that marker. I'm just going to move it over there. Need to aim a little higher. There we go. Oh, 
Oh shit. I'm a little too far away from the bike. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. I forgot how far away from my bike we were. That was a big mistake. I mean, that was an enormously gargantuan mistake, because guess what? I don't have a petrol down. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. I should have put a bedroll down. Absolutely should have done it. Absolutely should have done it. That was not smart. That was absolutely just the biggest mistake in the world. Okay. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this for food. We're going to grab this for speed. And this for hydration, and we're just going to run like hell. Oh, that was dumb. Why do I do these things to myself? <sighs> okay, here. Let's also... Uh, where is my... Well, my bike's there. Why isn't it showing my backpack? Oh, my backpack's here. Why does this show my bicycle there? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we got four clicks, guys, to run. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That's a canyon if I've ever seen one. Whew. Wow, no, not good, not good, not good. No, 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 get back up, get back up, back up, jump, 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 jump. Okay, we're good. Whoo! <laughs> oh, shit. That was close. How in the hell are we going to get across this thing? Oh, man, this is gnarly. Uh, all right, let's go back this way. There's no way across. I, uh, shit, I guess we keep going southwest until we find a way across or the this big crevasse or whatever the hell it is in man i have not seen something this no i can't even see the bottom it's so far down of course it's a little foggy out too hmm i remember seeing cracks like this on in the nitrogen map generator so it looks like fun pimps introduce those into the main game which is kind of cool but oh not cool when you have a zombie chase and you have no weapons let's run it is a cool feature um just adds a lot of character to the land but also gnarly too <laughs> it's like shit all right i see trees down there let's just carefully see if we can Get down here. Easy, easy, easy. Wow, this is crazy, you guys. Is this... How, what level are we at right now? Yeah, we're... Oh, shit. Uh, we're only at plus 14 elevation. We're almost to bedrock. How interesting. Problem is, we got to go this way. And, yeah, uh, that's a problem. That is a big problem. Um, I'm hoping we can figure out a way to go around. This is so cool, though. There's an actual biome down in the bottom of this canyon. The ones that um, that the nitrogen generator made basically just kind of went down to a crack in the ground, and there wasn't really anything down inside of them. Wow. I'm kind of glad I was killed because I don't know that if I would, I would have seen this otherwise. Okay, so this looks like it's... I don't have room for anything. Maybe the end of the canyon. Let's see if we can climb back up out on this end and then get to our stuff before nightfall. Uh, 
This is not a good situation. We got a Steve right there. Let's run past him while he's ragdolling down the hill. Okay, we're fine. We'll get away from him. Oh shit, we got a bow. All right, time for this. We got to get out of here. All right, we're almost there. Let's make sure we have full stamina before we get into the snow. I've got a little bit of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit left. The speed, oh shit, there's a mountain lion. Uh, the speedy stuff. Mega crush. But I want to get all the way to the bike before that runs out. Why the hell does there have to be a Larry right there? Let's see if we can avoid him. Well, we only got 11 seconds left on super speed. Let's just go. Okay, get this quick. Make sure all the weapons are reloaded. And now, where in the hell is my bike at? It was in a weird spot. Uh, on the map, this is the way I was I was running back towards it when we were killed. All right, let's look on the map. It says it's over here, but that doesn't make sense. Why won't... Okay. All right, well, let's... let's we got to get out of this snow biome. Uh, is there anything that's not a high priority? That is not a high priority. We don't need that. We don't need this. I kind of hate to throw that much clay away, but we need to lighten up here. Our survival's more important. Um, really hate to throw that fat out. So let's just see if we can get back out of the snowbound with this. If my bike is in fact lost, I'm spawning a new one in because it should have been just right on the road right in front of us when we died. And that's a bug. Let's take that and this right now. And that actually frees us up a couple of slots too. Um, we'll put those down there. Okay, let's keep moving. All guns are loaded, right? Yeah. Let's keep a uh, little friend handy. He's kind of our emergency gun. Oh, um, where's my steroid? I don't know. I had a steroid. I must. I probably accidentally put it in the in the chest back at the base. Yeah. So my big mistake with the bear was that I got too far away from my bike, and I didn't realize I was that far away from it. Um, so that was my mistake, and I paid the ultimate price for it. On the plus side, we got to see some really cool terrain. You know, on the run back here. Uh, you know, that big old crack and stuff, and that's was pretty neat, especially neat to see that there's actual stuff at the bottom of it, so you could actually have a base down there if you wanted to, and it's really close to, to bedrock, too, so that has potential useful mining implications, you know? All right, we've got to be getting pretty close. Stamina. At least we're not cold right at the moment, so there's that. Got to look for those silver linings, right? Okay, it does show my bicycle on the compass. And this would be the second time now that my bicycle has teleported to a different location in Alpha 20, which is really bizarre.
Okay, so it shows that it's right over here-ish. Yeah, right there. That is so weird, man. That is so weird. Well, the important thing is, is we found it because we would not have wanted to, to lose what's inside of it, of course. Okay. All right. Well, that was, <laughs> that was a bit of a misadventure, but it was also a fun adventure too. Uh, but let's get the hell out of the snow biome and I'm going to see if I can hightail it back to Steve's place. Um, before he closes and get those nerdy glasses. Uh, am I going the right direction? Yeah, I am. Okay. So let's just get out of the snow biome. I'll stop and take my armor off so I have some stamina on the bike. And I'm going to see if I can get back to... Or, I'm sorry, not, did I say Steve's? I mean Trader Joel. Okay, let's get our armor back off here. And uh, where we're headed is right here. So let's see if we can get over there and get those glasses before it's too late. Okay, we made it. Let's hop on in here, get those nerdies from Trader Joel. What a wonderful day. Okay, so those would be here or here. Yeah, right there. All right, yeah, that's a lot of money to pay for those, but Come back sometime. I'm just going to do it. And, you know, if we end up finding a pair, like in the next episode, then, yeah, a few choice words will probably pass my lips, but that's just the way it goes. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Um, I'm just going to follow the main road back home. This is... um. This is the route we took, and this is that big canyon, which is really cool. I'd like to go back there at some point and check it out. Uh, this, I think, was like a ghost town. Um, so that was kind of neat, you know, seeing that. And then, yeah, so I guess we uncovered a little bit of territory. So that was the that was the silver lining and <laughs> in all of that. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's go back home, and I will see you guys in the next episode. And then we will decide what our next course of action will be at that time. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.